Uh, whoa. Uh, oh, what? It looks like it's grounded. That was weird. It was weird, but it the looks fine. just like, it's floating there. It was for a minute. What's up, Watermelon? How are you? Pretty good. Been pretty busy. Uh, unfortunate that I'm not playing the season, but that's just how it goes. Yeah, we've had uh, some busy uh, schedules for some people. Chaotic already had a pretty good shot here on the net. Now I'll try to find two deuce. So uh, what do you think of this game? Who's uh, going to take it? Um, I think it'll really come down to the goalies, actually. Um, I think the skating, I would, in a normal circumstance, I would give the edge to, uh, to TCT, but... Well, well there's a goal there for go. Tanks. 1-0 already. Their first shot of the game, Tarsonis. Up 1-0. Entropy not quite ready. Yeah, but as I was saying, I would give the skating edge to TCT, but it's on West, so I think that evens it out um, for Chaotic and Mythic, who are both West players. And I really just think it comes down to which goalies, or which goalie, rather, um, just plays a better game. Uh, there's probably going to be a lot of shots, um, so we'll just see how this goes. As Chaotic's passed, not on the mark there. I didn't realize that Mythic and Chaotic, they're both West players? They are, yeah, and they're brothers too. Oh, they, they're uh, wow. this is news. They, they literally live in the same house. <laughs> okay, well, uh, that explains things. Well, we, oh, two deuce with a goal. That'll tie it up. Roro had boosted down, but uh, two deuce got through the defense and had a wide open net. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I have a feeling this is going to be a theme in this game. Um, the goalies just they're just going to have to keep their composure and whichever one just completely blows it first uh, that team is probably going to lose. Well you can see both teams really struggling at least the, the players who are not west. Uh, the, the goalies I assume are not west because they've been slow slower to react than they have been all season and the skaters are sort of struggling to pass and retain possession and so it will be interesting to see who can sort of survive the uh, hostile environment, if you will. Definitely. Um, TCT is sort of in a pickle with the West server because their playstyle really relies on winning click battles. And you can't do that when you have really high ping. So it's going to be... They're going to have to really exercise their teamwork and uh, try and work wow. on their What their a passing. save by Roro. Somehow, the back of his shield ends up keeping it out of the net. Would have been 2-1. to one. Uh, his tanks here at the crease will score. Took his time and put it in. The defense couldn't click it away from him. Entropy boosted up, and it's two to one. Tarsonis retakes the lead. That was a good shot. Um, he caught two deuce on the crease. Two deuce being the one skater for the red team who's not west. So um, if you can catch him on the crease with his delay, uh, you can usually beat him in quick battles. Well, it is interesting because Mythic has been really really defending well all season uh, perhaps outside of the first game I don't remember if you played but outside of that from what I remember he's been playing really well all season and uh, they're gonna need him back there to stop the Tarsano City offense which has been uh, pretty good in a couple of games here so obviously yeah, definitely. Mythic was not back in time on that play and allowed Tanks to score. Sleek has been uh Pretty good sleeper this season, I'll say. Uh, most people didn't even think he would show up to a single game, uh, myself included. He hasn't. He, he's one of these banjo ball players who, you know, pretended like they were going to start playing and just didn't for several seasons. Um, and I don't know. I guess uh, he just really wanted to to get into the scene this season, and those, it's it's paid banjo off. Banjo ballers, <laughs> yeah. <he's laughs> Hit chaotic shoots right into Roro's shield. Had top, but Roro looked ready to boost up if he did shoot top. So good positioning by Roro as chaotic re-steals it from tanks. Oh, and two deuce gets the goal. Tied back up that one timer. Good pass from chaotic. Roro with the delay, not able to react in time. I don't even know if he had his shield up or not, but doesn't matter. It's two to two now, and this is going to be an interesting game as we wrap up the first period here. Ten seconds left. That was a great pass by Chaotic, and as a goalie, you have a really hard time um, getting yourself to boost over. Oh, as we have another shot. Had the opening, <laughs> but uh, posted a couple of times there. The uh, the worst thing you can do as a defender is look like you're covering something when you aren't. Um, 
because that's what confuses your goalie the most. If you leave a pass wide open and, and the goalie realizes it's wide open, he can boost over for the one-timer. But if you're on top of them but you're not really covering it, um, that's going to go in if you don't block it like nine times out of ten because the goalie just just doesn't realize that it's open. That's uh, very true. As a goalie, I can attest to uh, the nature of perception for the defense is uh, pretty important. Um, well, it's been a very even game thus far. Two goals apiece. Tanks with the two goals. Tudis with the two goals. Uh, both of them leading the scoring for their team. You saw Chaotic get into the mix with a couple of good passes setting up some assists. So neither team really to take advantage of the other. They're going to need to make some adjustments uh, to break out of this uh, even that even split. Definitely. Um, I would say the uh, Ayer's goals have seemed to be more team-oriented, and TCT's goals have been very just like get in your face on the crease, do a couple jukes. Um, we'll see if that trend continues here. Well, Tank's trying to get by Mythic uh, after the bad pass from Entropy. Gave it right to him, really. Um, and now we're going to have a scuffle for it behind Entropy's net. Tank's the retaining possession loses it to Two Deuce. And now the Iron Storm will try and set up their offense. But Two Deuce can't get by Quackster. Two defenders back for the Storm. Tanks gets right through Chaotic, should have scored, but he hits the post again. It's sort of been a theme for Tarsonis this season. I don't know if you've been watching Watermelon, but they have, have uh, blown quite a few chances. Good position, but just have not been able to finish. I mean, that's definitely something that you see from Tanks and Quackster a lot, just in in-houses. Um, they, they can put themselves in positions to score. Their biggest weakness is just finishing. Um, so, I mean, that really, that really determines how well their offense produces each game, I think. Just their ability to, to reel in their aim once they get to that spot. Because um, they get plenty of opportunities. Well, Chaotic steals this one from Roro, and he might have an opportunity, but Qu Quackster takes it away from him. Uh, Chaotic with a re-steal now, and takes a <laughs> long snipe. Roro, you saw him late to react to that. Definitely delay, because Roro has been excellent all season in the net, and that pass not on the mark from him. Uh, just did save the snipe in time. It was a slow snipe as well. But uh, Chaotic definitely enjoying a west advantage. Gets another steal, but gives it away to Tanks. Quackster trying to dribble. That's going to be difficult against Chaotic and Mythic in this game, apparently. Sleeve playing pretty well de uh, defensively thus far, but throws that pass away. Neither team able to pass the puck extremely well thus far. Yeah, both teams getting more conservative um, in these last two minutes. We haven't seen another goal yet. Uh, just, oh, well, as it's I say that. A good pass from Tanks to Quackster, but better defense from Tudus and Mythic, who do combine to recover. Well, it would have been a nice chance for Quackster one on one with the goalie. Yeah, just both teams being more conservative with their passes overall in this period. Um, we haven't really seen any any big risks in the passes. Just basic stuff. Just get the puck up, keep possession. Um, Chaotic does have a breakaway though. He does. He's out all alone, but the uh, shield had uh -huh. not gone down yet for Roro. He needed to be a little more patient, and he may have had an opening bottom. He was looking bottom. That was the right decision, but uh, that one-timer from Mythic blocked by Chaotic and the defense, and then Chaotic stripped. Sleek now finds Tanks. Good pass. See what he can make of it. Mythic steals it away, and now it's Chaotic. If he can get by Sleek, he can. One-on-one -on -one again. Good pass mm. to Mythic, but Roro able to make the save with a shield. Good force field positioning by Roro. Just twitches up just slightly. Um, so that unless the one-timer is aimed perfectly, it'll just bounce off the very edge of his force field. Um, that's something that a lot of goalies do nowadays. Uh, there's not a whole lot of... Um, like the old meta would be that you sit, you stick to the near post, and then um, when you think there's going to be a one-timer, you just boost across, um, and you just pray that they don't shoot near side. But a lot of cheating nowadays. Um, goalies have learned how to make it work. Um, shooters have not been super um, they haven't really exploited it very much but well that that, that was a nice pass get exploited. that defense great pass from tanks Quackster waiting in the wings for an easy one-timer goal entropy obviously not able to boost down in time uh, relying on his defense there they did look like they had
time to be in position, but with just one second left, the dagger of a third goal goes in for the Irish Storm, or for the Tarsena City Tigers, rather. That's definitely going to change the momentum of this game, because now um, TCT can really just sit back and continue being conservative, and Iyer has to start taking some risks unless they just get lucky with a breakaway. Um, you do see them with 11 shots, so uh, I think they're capable of getting out there and scoring, but it'll need to be Tudus and Chaotic reconnecting again. Uh, their passing in the second period was not as good as the first period, so that'll need to change. Yeah, definitely. Um, Tanks with the crown, he does have a minute 14 with possession already. Um, just, you know, just sort of being that middle of the rink controller that everyone knows that he can be. Um, but he does have two goals to show for it as well. He is dribbling pretty well despite the delay. Uh, hopefully he has no lag problems this game, as he was having some uh, in the last game or two. Two is two just wins the faceoff for the Iron Storm. Chaotic trying to get through Tanks and Quaxter. Spins. Has some time. Finds two deuce. Interesting pass, but stripped by Quaxter immediately. Quaxter now doesn't have Tanks because Entropy Shield will send that pass away. To do now with tanks or with sleek to beat. We'll find chaotic. Chaotic, great move. The defense couldn't strip it away. Sleek was just a cone there, a traffic cone, as we like to say in Banjo Ball. And that's the third goal for the Irish Storm. Excellent move by chaotic, having the patience to wait for Roro to boost up. Yeah, and you can't blame that on the goalie there. Um, if if the defense lets the skater reach both sides of the net. Um, one after another, the goalie is he's going to have to react and cover something um, and just hope that the defense recovers, and they just didn't on that play. Well, you've seen that a couple of times from the Iron Storm, getting, getting as you say, to both sides of the post, and that is not a recipe defensively for success for Tarsena City. Their offense has been good enough thus far. Oh, man, mm. that shot from Tudus would have been an easy goal, but... The defense for Tarsona City did recover that time for uh, for Roro, so he'll be thankful for that. Yeah, some of the hardest shots to hit are when the goalie does something completely unexpected, um, because you're going into the offense. You look at you look at what's open. You see where your teammate is, and boom, the goalie just complete like he just boosts a random direction, and you don't. Um, it takes a bit to adjust to that, and if you're just about to release a shot, it's really hard to stop yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, there was a gap there for Tudus, but he hit the post, and but the rebound does fall to uh, the Irish Storm as Chaotic tried to make a pass there. Instead, it rolls right to Roro. Sleek now boosting forward. Can't quite find Quaxter. Now Chaotic. Two minutes left here. It is tied at three. It's been a back-and-forth game, a great game to watch. Mythic taking his time. The Irish Storm want to take the lead. Mythic tried a one-timer pass to Chaotic, but he didn't move and it missed. Retains possession, dribbles well. They just can't seem to steal it from him. Yeah, definitely uh, not as much delay for Chaotic <laughs> as he tried to find Studis. Almost does. Really crucial steal by mm. Tanks, but Chaotic picks up the rebound, puts it in. It is the fourth goal for the Irish Storm. I believe he has all of them. Uh, oh, yeah. He has only two of them. Okay. Two of them. Two Deuce has the other two. But a great, great move by Chaotic. The patience, the wait, and he'll put it in for the fourth goal. Minute 30 left. Yeah, Roro just creeping to the middle more and more there. Um, as those quick battles go on, he's getting more and more nervous, thinking, like, my defense isn't stealing the puck. Like, I need to compensate. But um, they eventually just get it back and shoot near side. And that's really... I mean, it's hard when you're a goalie with delay to stay on top of that because the puck's just going all over the place in front of your net. Well, uh, you're, you are going to see the Iron Storm be conservative here as Mythic just biding his time looking for a wide open pass still ends up missing Chaotic though and Quaxter will recover that Tarsona City with under a minute to tie this game up or take the lead Quaxter can't quite receive the pass from Sleek off the boards that was a dangerous loss of possession almost and Tanks can he get by Tudus he cannot Tudus will retreat no reason to rush Chaotic has the puck only Sleek to beat with Quaxter providing some support 30 seconds left. They're going to have to pressure Chaotic and make a steal, otherwise he's just going to run out this clock. 
Yeah, this is a good old offensive bitch walk. Um, what are the yeah. rules? I don't know the rules on this, but it looks like he just found two dudes, so good save Th by Roro. Not there's a. Uh, there's no rules against offensive bitch walking. He could have just held it the whole time. Um, that's one of the things I've always thought should be clarified, but it isn't, so. Well, only six <laughs> seconds left. Sleek, someone's going to have to make a steal and get down there. They're not going to, though. Instead, it'll be two deuce. Who almost gets a goal, but not quite. Four to three, final score. <laughs> Tank's leaving immediately, probably not happy with the result. Nonetheless, it was a pretty good, pretty good game considering the circumstances for both squads. Chaotic will have the crown. In on every single goal, watermelon. How did he do it? Um, he he just he just wins quick battles, man. I mean that that's all there is to it. When you're on your home server, um, you get those extra clicks in with low ping, and if, if you can capitalize on those, if you can use that position that the ping gives you, um, to either hit your teammate or take a shot, it's usually a pretty good idea. Um just to take advantage of that because mm -hmm. nowadays Zelda hockey is really all just click battles and if you have the ping to win the majority of those click battles that's that's a huge advantage well I think the strategy for the ire uh, was a little different this game you still had mythic defending of course but Tudus had primarily been the offensive uh, relied on for offense for the ire storm in, in past games and chaotic attempted to support he did not fare as well as the support role uh, now to deuce probably a better a better player than chaotic feeding feeding chaotic offensively especially on his home server seemed to work pretty well for the iron storm yeah I thought this was a pretty good um, formation for them to have to deuce just sitting in the middle sort of uh, with chaotic forward because to deuce again had he had the highest ping on their team and also he's probably the best passer on their team, so they have Mythic winning quick battles on their own crease, Chaotic winning quick battles on the enemy crease, and Tudus just facilitating between the two. Um, it was a pretty good lineup for this game. Well, well played by both teams. 4-3 to three final score, and um, that's it, folks. We'll uh, progress to the, the probe game. Watermelon, I don't know if you want to stay on or not, but thanks for casting this one.